All right, okay guys, welcome back. We want to look at figure of speech. Figure of speech, really, is the writer using certain words to which to mean something different, all right? It is not being used in the ordinary way that it really means. It is a, it is a writer using these words to create a different meaning from the original one, all right? And you will see figure of speech coming out, coming out in a number of writing. The one we want to look at now is alliteration, all right? And after having looked at alliteration, we want to also look at a few more so that we can have a greater understanding as to how we can use, identify and use alliteration in our writing. All right, so the figure of speech we want to look at first is alliteration, all right? And I want to show some example. So alliteration is So the letter sound are uh, repeated inside of the sentence. Look out carefully, the letter sound repeated. All right, and we know that every single letter has a sound. When you were doing your ABC, all right, and you A is for A, ah, ah, B is for B, B, and all of that, right? So every letter has its own sound, okay? All right, so this is how it plays out when you're doing alliteration. You remember your grade, your um, kindergarten class when your teacher was teaching you um, letter song. Come back. It, it follows you all throughout your life, right? Make sense? Yeah. All right, so one. Susie says she shall. Susie so sells seashell. You see the S coming out? Alright, the S is, 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 is going across. Alright, I could have. Barry bought Buller for lunch. You see the B coming out? So not all your, your words are going to begin with the same letter sound, but once you see um, it being repeated, all right, it is, it is dominant in your sentence, then it's alliteration. Barry bought Buddha for lunch. A simple sentence, right? But it is alliteration. Let's try another one. Peter Pink Plum for his pair. When we speak of pair, we're talking about our friends, all right? Our friends who we associate with. So those friends in your class, they are your pair, okay? Peter Pink Plum for his pair. P-E-E-R. All right, be careful. P-E-A-R, P-E-E-R. All right, great. So you see here where alliteration plays out in these three sentences because you see the same letter sound being repeated across, all right? It is not saying anything funny. It's not saying anything um, which doesn't make any sense. It is just that the writer uses um, the same letter sound to, to, to create a different kind of tone in his or her writing. All right, and you can try some of these at home. Just try them out. Go ahead, make some simple sentences. And a matter of fact, you can just try this example for yourself. All right, you could start with a J, James, or you could start with um, Robbie. Go ahead and start your own sentence. All right, you could just try those two for yourself and see how you well you 
um, can do with it. Okay.